Yeah, Allison, don't go crazy. Lots of rules in place. We're going to talk about those in just a minute. But as you mentioned, this is the first time in more than a year that fans are going to be allowed back inside Capital One Arena. The decision to allow that, that came down earlier this month from Mayor Bowser. 10% capacity is going to be allowed inside the arena. So we actually got an inside look at the arena yesterday and uh, we want to talk about some of those changes. So if you do plan to come out to a game, you're going to enter through these color coded gates and they are essentially like little neighborhoods. You'll have to stay within those uh, neighborhoods or your color the entire game. No reentry is going to be allowed. Uh, obviously, social distancing in place. Everything as far as tickets, payments will all be electronic. Concession stands will be open, but everything's going to be the same as far as food and everything will be prepackaged for your safety. Seating will be for fans in one to four seats in different groups that are all socially distant from one another. Here you can see how fan groupings might uh, uh, be uh, set up during games and you'll see that there's plenty of space between each group for social distancing. So yeah, I mean, it is exciting and the Caps take on the Golden State Warriors, excuse me, the Wizards take on the Golden State Warriors tonight at seven o'clock. The Caps, I do want to talk about them. They are taking on their first game with fans. That'll be next Tuesday. So it's good to see, you know, things getting back to normal, but we do have one more thing to talk about. Obviously, so the big story of the day is the Derek Chauvin verdict, right? The NBA, WNBA, they have both weighed in. Yeah, both organizations, WNBA, NBA, they have been vocal throughout the past year. Um, and, you know, this impacts a lot of the players. Um, and so while this is an exciting day to have fans back inside Capitol Arena, it follows a very emotional day because it impacts so many of the players. The NBA actually released a statement yesterday saying that uh, they are pleased that justice appears to have been served in this case. And it's important to mention, too, several players, WNBA players, including the Mystics, Natasha Cloud, they actually took the 2020 season off um, following the death of George Floyd to really focus their attention on social justice reform. They had the full support of the league doing that. And the WNBA also released a statement yesterday saying in part, while this verdict represents a step toward justice, we are reminded that justice is too often not the outcome for people of color. The WNBA will continue its work to combat injustice and inequality in our country and hope this represents a true turning point for how the effects of systemic racism begin to be addressed. So again, both organizations, uh, you know, very vocal on this issue and both say in those statements that there's a lot of work to be done and that they'll continue to support their players through that process. Yeah.